glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Here in Evanston, Illinois, at Ryan Field is where this game is taking place. Fry has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. And with that, we kick off our season. Taken from the 10. He's taken down at the 33. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. is also good for a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Nice run there. Gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. This quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. He's got an opening. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Pass is tipped away. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. From the 32-yard line, second down. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out at the 21. Offensive lineman hopes for an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. He makes the PAT. 
Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's check in on what's happening in Mount Pleasant and for Central Michigan. They start the season with a victory. The Chippewas prevail by 13. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sanders takes it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Stanford staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. It's second and 12. Ball on the 28-yard line. Under pressure. Great pressure on the quarterback force. That incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Quick pass. Tackle around the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line. It's first down. And now he's got room to run. He's at the 40. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 34. They're packed in tight on the line. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That brings him second and five. the 27 yard line they're about four yards away here on third down now he tries to buy some time and they make the stop at the 21 yard line first down and this is the eighth play of the drive Strike to the fullback, incomplete. From the 21-yard line, it's second down. Get to that quickly. Touchdown, Cardinal. for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 70-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. We get a tie game at 7-7. Jacobs from the eight. Brought down at the 29. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Here's a receiver screen. Ball's incomplete. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Makes it.
makes the catch and look out. He's pushed out of bounds around the 37 yard line. Six-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Larry, Larry, Larry! Mike Ford, Mike Ford! They can't hang with us! Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. No big on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Larry, Larry! Mike Ford! Ready! Green 90! So at the end of one quarter, we're even at seven in this one. We're all tied up, and more action coming, hopefully, here in quarter number two. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Locked down around the 43-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws complete. He's hit right away. Play the drive. the 20 yard line the man defense proves to be too tough against the screen that was an excellent job by the defenders they fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop so they're going to go for it here he lost the ball it's picked up by the offense So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. From the 17 yard line. First down. Tackle after decent pickup. it out to maybe the seven yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Three down, three down. Mike four. 
Big opening. Touchdown, Wildcats. And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. Plays like that are just hard to stop. Once this young man gets on the move, it's highlight time. And he hits the PAT. A 14-play, 67-yard drive. And it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Sanders fields it at the 11. They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer. And that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Cody gets the carry. Makes it out to about the 49. That's good for him. From the 49-yard line, first down. And he tackles him hard at the 38. First down. Two times, two times. Fights forward to about the 36. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 36. Quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 20. That's a smart play here by the quarterback. He threw it into the window the zone coverage gave him. Nice pass and a nice job by the receiver running the slam. Here we go. Stanford's going to have to use their second time out of the half. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. First and goal and a touchdown ties it, folks. Nice run to the outside. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. First foul. Clipping. Clipping. Offense. Offense. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your offensive down. progress. Makes it to the eight. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That brings up second and goal. They're at the eight. Second down. They come out in a goal line set. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The tailback picks up six there on the misdirection. That makes it third and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Touchdown, Stanford! And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So an eight-play, 57-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Jacobs gives it at the seven. Tackle made at the 32-yard line.
This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled right around the 40. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Gets it out. He's met immediately. And he hits him hard at the 44 yard line. Wildcats are going to call their second timeout. From their own 44 yard line, it's first down. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. And he's level at the 45 yard line. Chucks it downfield. Huge game, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. Catches it. They really got beat by the deep pass. Against man-to-man -man coverage like that, it's just a foot race. Scrambling around. He's taken down around the five-yard line. So we've played two quarters. We're deadlocked right now at 14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Take a look at both quarterbacks in this game, and neither one of them even has their pants dirty. Nobody's been on the ground here. No pressure generated by the defense, but one of the reasons is because quarterbacks have been able to get rid of the football. Maybe maybe a little help in the secondary to those guys trying to rush the pass. The guys up front always get the blame, but it really is a business that works hand in hand because I, you can get a lot of sacks off garbage sacks where it's great coverage down the field where the quarterback has to hold it for four or five seconds, but it works the other way around too. If somebody's open every time he pats that football and reaches the top of his drop, I can't get there in time. So the, the coverage needs to tighten up a little bit, mess up the rhythm, jam the receivers maybe a little bit more. Give me a little bit of time so those big boys up front can get to the quarterback. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. Sanders fields it at the three. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. They line up in the jumbo set. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And down he goes at the 24. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 24. Dumps it complete over the middle. Tackle at the 35-yard line. Ball in on the tackle at the 35-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Tackle 
tackle made around the 48-yard line. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Makes it out to about the 39. That's a deep one. That brings in second and one. Six man. Check girls, check girls, check girls. They'll bring him down right around the 30. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 30. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Play action. He's under pressure. And a quick throw. He's at the 20. And they make the stop around the 15-yard line. Gaining 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 15-yard line, first down. Nice run there. McNeil picks up about four yards after keeping the ball on the option. That makes it second and six. And this play is number eight on the drive. left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. They'll line it up again on third down. Let's it fly. Stanford could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the six. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Throwing left. And he's taken down at the 46. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Loss of one yard on the play. That brings us third and ten. He 
lets it fly. He's got a touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 71-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. I think the big thing there, Brad, is that they were able to execute the passing game. When you can get big plays and great execution, obviously you can move the ball down the field. So the score now, 21-17. Northwestern lines up for the kickoff. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. And both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 29-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Brought down around the 45-yard line. That's good for a of 10 yards. First down. it out to about the 47-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, Northwestern leads 21-17. Great three quarters of action. Tight ball game. And now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 40. Game of 13 on the way. That makes it first and 10. Hey, From the 40-yard line, first down. He's tackled around the 32-yard line. That's good for him. He's at the 20. What a play, and that is first and goal. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. And he's tackled at the four. Hughes on the tackle at the four-yard line. That brings him second and goal. It's the ninth play of the drive. They're packed in tight on the line. And he's met in the backfield. Nice. 
It's third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. There's a strike complete. And he is drilled at the two-yard line. careful of a pass play with this defense. Touchdown! And that's going to give him the lead. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Wolverines came into the day ranked 12th. All those who said they weren't that good now have plenty of ammunition. David took the little rock, he slung it with all his might, and it hit Goliath right on the noggin, and down goes the giant. And for Whitmore, a very good day. He cracked the 250-yard mark. Oregon State gets the win 28-21. Reese were separated by a field goal here, 24-21. Fry is lined up to kick this one off. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Less than three minutes in the game. He gets to about the 41-yard line. say one thing they are definitely not afraid to put the ball in the air that time they were lucky it wasn't intercepted third down now and they need to get it inside the 49 makes the grab and steps out right away Seven yard line. Nice run up the middle. Inside the 10. Touchdown, and they take the lead.
Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. He makes the PAT. Douglas gets set to kick this one away. Sanders from the six. Oh, what a hit. So, Kirk, here we go. McNeil's got center stage. This is what we've been waiting for, to watch him try to lead his team to the go-ahead score. And I can't think of a better situation for this offense. I mean, they've got a chance to control this game late in the ball game with one of the best quarterbacks in all of college football in charge. He needs to take a deep breath and just relax and go through his progressions. This defense better dig in. This is going to be one exciting finish for this game. And down he goes at the 37. That makes it first and ten. Just under two to go in the game. Catches it, and that's all. Going long. The senior makes the catch. They'll bring him down at the nine. First and goal. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone.
The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Offense. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Down the sideline. He goes down at the 41-yard line. Well, I think I've lost track, but I think that's at least five possessions in which the offenses have scored. I don't know if anybody's going to step up defensively in this game or not. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop at about the 21. And for Freeman, he takes his receiving yardage total to 100. Well, Brad, this guy continues to make play after play. The quarterback and this receiver are clearly in a zone and feeling it today. We have less than a minute to go. And he throws it away. It's second and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to come up with a sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight that might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game complete he's got room so the play of the day fourth and ball game and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win this might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. They'll go down to one knee. Northwestern will take their last time out. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 31-28, Stanford. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.